Hey developers, how do you use Vuex with the composition API with Vue 3? Let's chat. Hey, my name is Eric, and if you guys like JavaScript, if you like Vue.js, if you like React, make sure you click that subscribe button and make sure you click the little bell button and like this video. I would really appreciate it. And as always, comment below with what you think about Vuex and about Vue.js. Okay, so I've been getting a lot of questions about the composition API, that new feature inside Vue 3, and also how it relates to Vuex. So I wanted to make just a really quick video here and explain my thoughts. First, I wanna say if you want to share state management inside your Vue app, you're using Vue 3 or using Vue 2 with the composition API plugin, it's really simple. So let me show you a quick app that can make this possible. So you can do this without having Vuex installed at all. So I went ahead in StackBlitz, I'll leave a link in the description below if you wanna check this out. But basically I created a composables folder and inside the composables folder, I, I created this global file. And I'm using reactive, this reactive and read only from the view library. I'm creating this new reactive object that has count in it. And then I have this increment which just increments the count. And then I'm using an a really simple ES6 export default and I'm using the state and increment so we can import this into any file. In our app view file here, uh, you can see here it's starting in line 16, 15. I have this setup function and that's, you know, if you see setup function that we're using view three and that we're using the composition API and I'm actually pulling in and don't worry about line 17 for a second, but I'm pulling in and line 19 right here, the state and increment. So I'm importing it in in line 11, and then I'm just grabbing the state and increment from it. And then I'm incrementing it just inside the setup function, just every time it loads and increments. And then I'm also returning it. And I'm using this two refs, which basically it's a way to destructure reactive objects. So that way we have access to the uh, state and basically the state has access to the count right here. So it's the, the reactive object has count in here. So we have access to it. And then we also have access to uh, increment as well. Well, excuse me, just the count in this two refs, but I went and returned both of them. So right up here, I have this count, which remember since I use two refs here, I have access to it. And then I just added this increment to this click button. So you can see here, I click the button as it, and it works as you expect it to. And since we're using this reactive property here, uh, you can actually share this with every single component in your app. You can share it between routes and it'll be reactive and it'll save the state. So as long as you don't reload the browser, this count will be basically all over the app. It'll be reactive and it will be shared between all the state, all the routes and everywhere in your app. So you can create like a poor man's, essentially a poor man's state management system inside Vue using this method. Uh, I actually did a video on this too. If you look, it's called like poor man's Vuex. You can find it as well. However, if you are watching this video today, you may have realized that Vuex 4 was just released or at least the stable build of Vuex 4 was just released recently. And one thing really cool about the stable version of Vuex 4, and if we look inside the documentation right here, if we look at the documentation that's right on right here, you could see for Vuex 4, we now have this new use store that you can actually import in from Vuex. So if you set up your state management system, all you need to do is use use store, and then you have access to it. And then you can have actual, you can get kidders, getters and, and computer properties. You can uh, access mutations and actions. And yeah, so there's a lot. And they even have a whole example here. Uh, you can pull down this whole GitHub repository and try it out. So if you're listening and you want to have the power of UX and the composition API, then use Vuex 4 because it is now stable and out and it'll have that all for you. If you don't want to use that, there is other like libraries out there that kind of takes your Vuex store. If you're, let's say you're in Vuex 3, and you can upgrade to Vuex 4 right now, and you wanna have that, that uh, have your data in, in inside the composition API, inside your setup function, then there's a couple of workarounds you can do. There's a, there's a few libraries. There's this view hooks library. I haven't used this in a while, but it has a use state. It's called use state and use store. And so a hook for Vuex, you can use this use store which if you look at the source code, it's pretty simple the way they, they do it. They also have uh, this view context composition, which is another way to, basically it's like using the React use context hook from React. It's re-implemented in Vue.js 3.0. I saw this Vuex composition helpers, 
which once again, you can try to use if you want. I think even it has TypeScript support. And then there's one other way is if you have inside your setup, you can use this get current instance. And so if you, I mentioned before, and I kind of skipped over it, this internal instance, get current instance, if you use this inside your setup function, you can actually get access to your root, which is this uh, internal app instance. It has this app contents, but it has, it has access to this context root, which can actually hook into dollar sign store. And then you can get your Vuex store out of that way. So those are like three, couple different ways you can access your store inside your setup function. Now you're probably thinking if you're listening and you got this far, by the way, thank you so much. Make sure you click that like button and leave a comment below. Yeah, why do you even need to bother using something like get current instance or use one of these libraries? Can't you just do this dot store inside your setup function? Well, no, you can't. You, you can't use this dot dollar sign store inside your setup function. You don't have access to this at all inside setup. So you do have two parameters that come into setup, the props and the context. And uh, the context only has access to adders, slots, and emit. It used to have, I could have sworn at one time it had access to the root, but at this point, these are the three that it really has access to. So you would need to use something like get current instance so you can grab that root, which can then grab the dollar sign store. So those are different ways. I don't want to get into too much uh, detail in any of this. This is a, just a really big overview. Uh, I want to let I want to ask you guys. I think I asked this last video. I want to ask you again. What topics do you want me to go deeper into? I was thinking about doing a video on Vuex four. That might be pretty fun because there's some new features. It has really tight integration to Vue three. Or is there something else you want me to look into? Leave a comment below with your suggestion. I appreciate it. Oh yeah, and one more quick thing I forgot to mention. I do have. If you are a Vue newbie or Vue beginner and all this sounds very interesting to you, or even if you're an intermediate Vue developer, I have courses on all this. I have a Vue 3 course. Um, I'll put a link in the description below. It's uh, like three or four hours. It's compacted down, so I just it has tons of information, tons of value, where we go over the Composition API, all the new changes for Vue 3, it's all in that one. Um, so I it was like a, a live class that I did, but I'm offering it pretty cheap. So if you want to click in the description, you can get that get that course and also help uh, support the channel. So that's really cool. So I'm going to give myself a little plug at the end of this video. Thought it would be worth it. Once again, thanks.